Okay, and now the fun begins. Here we're going to do a tutorial about user input, interacting with the user in Python. So think of an RPG. Name is a variable is equal to raw underscore input. Enter your name. So just keep pay attention to all the brackets here. We have a regular uh, regular uh, bracket, and uh, we have some text here. Enter your name. So what's going to happen here is the computer will literally wait for the user to type in something with, with their keyboard and then press enter. And the value of whatever they typed is going to go into variable name. So if they type in Fred, uh, the, person, the variable name would equal to Fred. Keep in mind that this function called raw underscore input applies to text. So if you want to work with ABCs and those kind of characters, we need to use raw underscore input. Okay, and uh, so what we have here is print welcome, and there's a space here because we want that space to be there. Name, so this plus sign will actually add the variable, uh, the, the text variable with this text over here. Remember, text is enclosed with double quotes. Plus, with this text here, to Dragon Quest. And then here we have health is equals to input. What is your health, Brave Warrior? And once again, the user will, will actually uh, type in some numbers and press enter. Now keep in mind here, we have the function called input. So I'll put a little note here. Input uh, function is used for numbers. This is, it must be used for numbers. Whereas here, the raw underscore input function is used for text. So when you're dealing with player name and things like that, we need to make sure we use raw underscore input. So please don't confuse these and, and keep in mind we are using Python uh, version 2.7 uh, not ver the th version 3.0 so there, there might be some different functions for those kind of uh, for the newer version. Alright so here we have input raw underscore input. Let me show you one more thing here. So let's actually save this and run it. See how we go. Now there is going to be one problem with this and, and I want to show you the problem because a lot of people tend to have problems with this so I want to show you the exact error message that pops up. It says here, enter your name. Great, this is interacting. I'll just type in Fred. Welcome, Fred, to Dragon Quest. So the idea of it, the computer waiting for you is exciting. It makes it feel like you're actually in a game. What is your health, Brave Warrior? I'll just type in 100. Error. It says here, type error. Cannot concatenate, which means put together. str, which means a string or text. And int, which is a number object. So you can't, you can't actually uh, use a plus sign to add. Uh, the uh, the string and and a number. So we are, your health is health. So health here is a number, and this is a string. You can't do that in Python. So let's fix that up. How do you force this this variable here, which is a number? Remember, input deals with numbers to become a string. You can cast it. The word is cast. Okay, or the the function is called str. The concept is called pro the programming concept is called casting. We are casting variable uh, the int variable health to become a string we need to do this because in Python in Python we can only concatenate tenate or or add with a plus sign string with string strings with strings so keep that in mind. So this is an important concept. People always have problems with this. You have to memorize this function called str. So now this should work. I'm going to save this. and I'm going to run this. And now we have an exciting RPG. Enter thy name. I'm going to type in Cindy. Welcome Cindy to Dragon Quest. What is your health, Brave Warrior? We'll say 200. Your health is 200 points. So we're, we're starting to unleash the, the power of programming, which is interactivity. and and uh, uh, don't underestimate the power of uh, Python. Uh, although we're working on very simple beginner tutorials for, for text, uh, there's some very simple commands that actually draw pictures uh, to the screen and, and you can actually create a full-fledged uh, role-playing game in Python. Alright, so uh, we have uh, this code here. Uh, let me just show you one more thing here. Uh, you don't really have to type in some text here. You can just leave it as double quote, double quote, which basically means no text at all. And and there's the, you're not going to be prompted, but the computer will still wait for you. So I'm going to run this. And it's not asking you for anything. However, it is expecting you to. I'm going to type in AAA. Welcome AAA to Dragon Quest. It's not prompting you for a number. I'll type in 55. Your health is 55 points. It still works. 
So this is like the null string. This is empty. It's completely blank. I could put some spaces there, but in fact, if you are going to do this, you might as well get rid of the double quotes altogether, and it still works. Okay. So basically, you're not give, you're not being given a hint, but the computer is still waiting for you to type in something, even without the double quotes. So once again, what is your name? It doesn't really tell me. I'm going to type in Joe. Welcome Joe to Dragon Quest. It's not asking me for a number. I'll type in 77. Your health is 77 points. Congratulations. I hope you have some more insight into user input, whether you're dealing with strings or whether you're dealing with numbers. And when you are dealing with numbers, I hope you know how to force the number to, be, to become uh, uh, the same type of a string.